Dude, that's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. What's going on, my name is Johnny, and welcome to Sunday. Y'all know what Sunday is on my channel, but today we got a reaction video. I missed like two of these, I think, Um, but we're back. So today we got Deep Web Experience Animated. I love these little things. Llama Arts, appreciate you, boy. trying to find some really deep Ooh. websites. Uh -huh. I was in a chat room where people normally shared links to deeper websites and weird pictures and videos, commonly illegal pornography. Some guy named Vintage Triple X posted a link without like what describing kind of legal pornography? what it was. I'll... I clicked on it and it took me to a black screen where a big video box eventually popped up with a play button. The okay. video thumbnail was a dark room only lit by a TV screen. Out of curiosity, you don't mess with that. I clicked play. Well, of course you're gonna click play. TV static in the background, as okay. lines of static slowly swam down the video screen. Uh huh. There was no seek bar on this video. Then I noticed something slowly begin to emerge from behind the wall. Okay. There was a figure dressed in all black with some kind of black mask on as well. I started to suspect it was a jump scare video, and I thought I was right when the figure leaped out and ran to the screen in less than a second. Deep. It still got me, even though I was expecting Man, it, F all this, bro. it got strange. The person had their face in front of the screen, slowly moving around as if he could see me and was observing me. Then hey. I heard a crackly, demonic voice say something. It came from the video. It you could probably see you through your freaking camera. It out to be asking me something. I was really confused. How does he can he hear him? something, but... There was nowhere to Where's enter text. Arm? Then he said, No, not the keyboard. Say something. I felt my heart punch the inside of my chest as he said this. Oh my god. I opened my mouth and mumbled the words, You can hear me? It responded with, Yes. I was uncomfortable now. Absolutely I not. I'm, not, I'm escaping, I'm out of there. But it didn't do anything. Live. He said, don't, Don't try, try to leave. leave. I, I want to talk. talk. I tried moving the mouse to the exit Absolute. button, but the mouse was frozen. In fact, none of the keys were responding on my nope. keyboard. Throw the computer away. There was away. a long moment of silence. Just chuck out of there. My webcam began flashing as if it were on. He can see you too. Oh my god. There, I got a picture of you now. Now just hang on while I get your address, and then we can meet. I started what? to panic, smashing every key on the keyboard, spazzing the mouse, but it did nothing. Why well, don't freaking mess around? I had my finger on the power button, but it also web. didn't do anything. The computer wouldn't turn off. How did he not? How did he do that? The voice was saying crazy things like, "You're stuck here. I will find you. Don't even bother." I snatched the screwdriver sitting on my desk, unscrewed the four screws on the bottom of my laptop, and took out the battery. The computer finally turned off. I was gasping for air as if I just ran a marathon. Yeah. I would have had my the biggest panic attack of my life. I, have. I have since left my laptop off after that and have resorted to using my desktop as my main computer. Absolutely, you should. I'm sure by now nothing will happen. He definitely didn't have enough time to get my address. So for this video, we're just going to do part one and part two. I got family and stuff over at the moment, so... I don't want to take too much of the time, me recording and me screaming, you know? So we're going to do part one and part two of the creepy old, deep web stories. And I was unemployed. Feeling mm -hmm. unfulfilled by the monotony of a job life, I decided I would try my hand at working from home. So my days and nights comprised me of surfing the internet for any jobs I could get. I was you a on the deep web though? It makes no sense. So more often than not, I'd stray away and waste time doing other things. One day... I came across talk about the deep web while on Reddit. I felt mm -hmm. amused by the people talking about it as if it was something so scary, and decided I'd look into it. Right. It was stupid of me to go on it. I've been there a couple place, times. But I made scary it place. Sillier by scary. To check Very it out scary. At night. It was about 2 a.m. and I came across a website where you could chat with someone anonymous. 2 a.m. The person I got was a woman. She was in her early 20s and very pretty. She sat hey. with her head in her hands, looking playful into the webcam while batting her eyes. I had no desire to turn my camera on and started our chat, thinking that while I didn't come across anything scary, I could befriend this pretty girl. It sounded like a better deal anyway. Hey, how are you? She 
told me to turn oh my the camera god on, seriously but I'd like a better deal anyway she told me to turn the camera on but i ignored that request and tried to get her to talk she you finally her did often. after some prodding but i noticed how guarded she was i also noticed how after every message i sent her eyes would look off camera either to her side or somewhere behind her computer after a while, it started someone getting they're annoying, making her do so I that? asked her if someone else was there with her. I want to see you first. She said. Up until now, I'd been chatting while she'd answered my questions verbally. I'm not that curious. Don't be scared. She said, <laughs> laughing, this time looking behind uh. the laptop again and making a face that seemed to indicate she was laughing at my expense with someone else. <sighs> this is getting boring. I'm just scared. Feels like scared. I'm not just talking to you. That's because you're not. You're talking to all of us. Who else is there? Turn your camera on. Is this a joke? Turn it on. Okay. I'll be leaving What? Now. Turn on the camera. Her laughter was almost piercing by now. Man, I, I hate there was it does that. Humorous about her laughter was almost piercing by now. It's cutting out. There was nothing humorous about the situation, yet she threw her head back with riotous laughter. Oh! I had had enough and moved the cursor over to turn the chat box off when I saw the cursor had jammed. The only thing that was working was the chat box, and I still had access to the keyboard. Dude, they're gonna turn the camera on themselves. Her no. drop filled voice was louder than before. And I moved my gaze up to see her smiling. Yeah, I'm scared for him. Her face still beautiful, but the smile completely. Because this stuff exists. My no? computer's crashed. I can't see the screen. Sorry. I lied. I didn't want her to know I had no option but to chat. Her screen flashed before going blank. There was nothing there but a black screen. And then she's gonna be on about. Oh, I like this. At least I didn't need to talk to her while I tried to figure out what happened to the screen. Just then, a chat message popped up. It came up. back. Open the damn camera. You the aggressiveness in the message frightened me. Oh my me. gosh. Now, the fact that That's I not a way to put your camera on. Just go on the Omega like a normal nervous. person. Why are you going on the deep web to back. meet people? That's just not a then good time. The cursor moved. I watched oh, it's going to connect him. The cursor twirled around the screen. Oh god. The put tape on it. Put tape now. on it. I still didn't make a move. There was no way hey. anything good would be waiting for me if I did what she You asked. put stuff over it so they can't the see you. Flickering, it's simple. As if a virus was causing the computer to writhe in agony. Do you want me to find you? My heart raced. Could it no. be possible she knew where I was? I started typing. Please stop bothering me. Then turn on the fucking camera. By this point, I thought she was What's some it kind matter? of sadist. I got her kicks by scaring unassuming people in chat rooms. So I obliged and turned the webcam on. Oh, you dumb I saw dumb. My frightened face staring into the screen. Judging by my face, my attempts Ugh. at looking tough were painfully unsuccessful. <sighs> I asked around for the girl looking straight into the camera, telling her I did what she wanted and to stop hacking into my computer. There were several seconds of silence. I kept my stare directed to the little box that showed her. I'm so freaking me, scared for this dude. But it was pitch black. Is it a comeback? into the camera in confusion, feeling as if she was messing with me now. Then, I saw another message. Look here. After a few seconds of staring at those Look words, here. I looked back at her camera, but my computer instantly malfunctioned, and I received another message. Look here. Don't look up. The chat was filled with nonsensical gibberish. What? She typed with such ferocious speed, my screen whirled away with her constant Yeah, he's, he's just hacked her computer, I dude. I understand what was going on, but I didn't look up. My patience ran thin, and I wrote back. What is this supposed to mean? Her response came. I read only the letters in bold and shuddered. I looked look back up. into her webcam, and I fell back into my chair, my eyes widening. She was back what? there. Only her face looked completely demented. She had a savage expression, devoid of emotion. But oh. Her eyes were almost popping out of their sockets, and she was huffing as if she had extreme amounts of pent up rage. The way she Why would she be freaking out that like that though? Feel she despised me with all of her being. Like, is someone there, there with her? No Making her do that? There anymore. 
Her camera went blank again. Then the chat popped up. My heart stopped again. For a split hey. second, there had been the same blackness, only for the lights to come back on. She wasn't alone anymore. Oh. There was a man next to her with a black mask on. He made no movements other than look into the uh. camera like the girl. The girl's neck creaked to her side. It looked like it was causing her pain. And then the lights what? went out again. What? The no! Resumed. Get up and leave! This time, I screamed in fright and fell off my chair. There was another man with them now. He was standing next to the girl with the original one Dude. on the other side. That's the creepiest the thing on, I've ever his seen. His hands were grasping the girl's shoulders. Even with the subpar quality of the webcam, I could see the force with which the man dug his hands into the girl. It looked like he could rip dude, her Dude, that's into nightmare it. stuff, dude. The girl, however, had a huge grin on her face. Her eyes were mad with glee, or so it looked. Her teeth were perfectly lined up as her mouth spread into that toothy grin. But I could see she was in pain. Even with the smallest sign of her smile fading, oh, the man, man clenched his hands even tighter than before, which made her smile even wider. As so all three of them were shaking. Did you know this that exists, you know? Cold where they were. After a couple seconds I realized they were shuddering, like trying to hold back laughter. What are you laughing at? I yelled into the screen. They didn't answer and continued to tremor with concealed hilarity. What is so damn funny? I bellowed. They stopped shaking. Within a couple seconds, the screen went black Oh, man. Again. When it turned back on, the man no longer grasped the girl's shoulder. Neither was she smiling. All three pointed into the camera. Upon a closer look, I understood that they weren't pointing at me. They were pointing behind me. There's someone by to look back. I could see myself in the webcam. Yo, I'm f there was um, someone peeking from behind me. Get my freaking stuff on. Mask. Um, and according to what I saw in my webcam, he was with me in my room. Listen, I'm freaking hap. I'm, I, you know, I'm just, I'm going crazy with it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I would probably, bro. I don't know. Right behind me. I turned around quickly, but saw nothing where I had seen him in the webcam. I so it was back probably the screen, and to my bewilderment, saw a third man in the girl's chat box. It was the same man I had just seen standing in my room. Now, all three had their hands on the girl How they do? and were gripping tight. Maybe they did it. Like the girl hacking wasn't or laughing anymore. She had a look of utter devastation. If I a killed tear her. Or was dropping from her eye. But it wasn't just a tear. It was blood. It was blood trickling blood. down her eye socket. She then mouthed the words, help me. And the next second, she screamed as if her lungs were being ripped off as the screen went black. I immediately got up and pulled the plug out of my computer and backed out of the room. For a couple seconds, I swear I heard her screams, even though the computer was unplugged. The room went quiet, but I was too devastated to stay there and ran out of my house despite it being 3 a.m. I caught a cab and went over to my friends, Yo, who had I'm, to talk me down for I'm an hour before the I could story. be calmed. I returned back to my house with my friend a day later. Everything was the same, and after thoroughly checking around the house, we concluded that there was no one there, nor was there a sign of anyone ever having In the cookie jar, me. really? I've never gone back to the deep web. Of course my not! My friend suggested it might have been some prank by computer hackers, but the way that girl shrieked, the terror she had on her face, Oof. convinced me she had been a victim herself. I had wondered if I had stayed on for longer, if I would have become a victim too. Could those men have found me? Probably. Was there really someone in the room with me? Probably. There was nothing I could do. Because there was nothing concrete to report to the police. Like he's probably always going to think about what that I story, do, you know? Was throw the computer out and buy a new one. There Absolutely. was no way I could even open it back up after what happened. Absolutely. No. So expensive, guys. That's probably the best freaking. That's probably the best story 
of a, a freaking Sunday re reaction I've had in a long time. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. As always, guys, my name is Johnny. Don't ever go to the deep web. Just don't. I'm not a good time. Stuff like this happens all the time. You're going to get kidnapped. You're going to get freaking drugged. You're going to get sat in front of computers like that and have to deal with people like that. I, I, no, just no. Showing up, rain shine, rain shine, no giving up. Fuck her off, day nigga, no giving up. Rain shine, rain shine, I'm showing up. Two things that I can't do, fuck up and cancel.